Good morning, welcome to Poplar Spring Farm. I wanna show you the potatoes. They've been doing really well. And um, we planted them before, way before the frost date. And we've had some frost, but we've covered them. And um, there were a couple places, let me see if I can see any. I don't even think I can see any now, but they, they got um, frosted just on the edge of the leaves a, a couple times, but generally they've been fine. We got some real bad wind and it knocked some of them down. It broke a few branches, but um, they actually, I think they are doing fantastic. So my daughter who's growing them, she's come through and she's hilled them up a few times. Um, here's a potato right here. This is actually from last year. This is not one that already grew. Um, so she's hilled them a few times with the dirt that is here. And we're just about to go over to the chicken pen where we have leaves that the chickens have kind of um, gotten real small and broken down. And uh, we are going to mulch the middle of these and the edge with leaves. Potatoes love broken down leaves. So that's our plan. Just wanna show you something. Um, so when you plant your potatoes, you wanna plant them deep. What I did, what we did here is we dug our trenches in. This is all soil that we've made over the years. This is not our native soil. Our native soil is hard clay. And um, so what we did when we made our trenches here is we made our trenches down to the level of the bad soil. And then we just laid our potatoes on that and then we covered them with the good soil that we made ourselves. So potatoes, white potatoes or Irish potatoes um, what they do is you put your little potato seed in and they, you know, they sprout, they start to come up and they grow roots and the new potatoes grow off of those roots. So all the potatoes that you're growing that you will, um, harvest are going to be above the potato you plant. So with white potatoes, you want to plant them deep. Sweet potatoes, they're different. And when you plant them, it, it's... I'm gonna hold this one. It's actually um, just a little plant start. So if this is your sweet potato plant start, you would put this in the ground and your sweet potatoes grow under that, kind of almost like fingers like that and they grow deep like that. So sweet potatoes, you remember they go under, white potatoes you plant deep and they go up. So um, that's just a tip on that. All right, so we are gonna look at the, um, the leaves that we gotta get up so we can mulch these with leaves. I forgot to say earlier that these potatoes here that are tall are the ones that we planted that were um, from Azure Standard. They were just potatoes that had sprouted. And this row here that is just coming up, except for the end, those are the Azure ones. But the, these potatoes here are the ones that were left over from last year's harvest. And they're coming up, they're just, they weren't all sprouted out like the ones from Azure. So they're taking longer and that's totally fine because we will harvest these first and then we'll just remember that this section over here is going to be harvested a little later and that'll work great for us. So we are raking now and this area is the chicken pen where the chickens were all winter and we deep bedded them. Some of these leaves did get added like late winter and so they're not quite as broken down that's all right we'll just use what we have and what we're doing is making a big pile or a few big piles and then we will haul them over to the potatoes with the wheelbarrow and mulch them by hand so that is what we're doing here and in the background over there the girls just got hay from the top field where our buck goat is and the does are with them all winter and we have a shelter up there and they they have cleaned it all out and brought the bedding down to put in the new part of the garden the new area so that's what we're doing now just getting all these leaves up into a pile so we can haul them getting all these leaves up that we've raked. There's actually a lot in here. They're just sort of matted down. 
I think we're gonna have enough for the whole potato patch. So we're putting these leaves down nice and thick here. This will keep all the weeds out so we don't get any weeds in here and it, it holds the moisture in. We won't have to water unless it's very hot and dry. We've held the potatoes twice with dirt and now we're just adding the leaves, which will also put them on this side and on that side. And this is the last thing we do for them until we harvest, which will actually not be until June. So the potatoes are low maintenance if you give them a good start. Then they just sit in here and grow potatoes and do their thing. It's the end of the day now. The sun is just sinking down over there. And I came back out here to the garden to show you what we got done. We got two rows completely mulched in the middle and on both sides of the potato rows. And the last row we will mulch when it comes up and gets about a foot tall or so. But I wanted to show y'all what it looks like to have these deep leaves all around the potatoes. And this should pretty much be it until we harvest, probably in June. But before that time, of course, we'll start taking new potatoes once we think there's new potatoes in there. And um, actually, let me see if I can show you something I saw. If I can see it again. Um, it might have been here. Let me see. Yep, that's where I saw it. See, that's going to be a bloom right there. That's where it's getting a bud. And I don't know if any of the others are yet. But I just noticed that when we were mulching. And when they bloom, they're starting to actually make little potatoes. You don't want to try to look for new potatoes yet at that point, but you're getting close. Definitely a good sign when they bloom. Also, let me just show you. Okay, so here we've got a couple holes. Here we've got some holes. There's some holes over there. But generally speaking, these are very healthy potatoes and we do look usually oh we haven't been yet because it's been very cold you know we're still before our frost date but um, we'll come out here and we'll check them for potato beetles usually every day once it warms up a little bit and if we see any usually that's where they start is just down in there real tiny before they're even a beetle it'll be the larva and um, you just have to pick them off and that's what we do we just pick them off and crush them and that's how we take care of it but um, because I never spray we really don't have a problem that might sound a little bit backwards but because I never spray, we've never killed the bad bugs. I mean, we've never killed the good bugs. And so we actually have plenty of the good bugs, like assassin beetles that kill potato beetles. So if I see any of that stuff going on, I'll be sure to show you. But in my opinion, it's healthier for the plants and better just to pick stuff off by hand and not to spray, which will just kill everything. And then you'll end up building up the good bugs, which will help eliminate the bad bugs. So that's what we do. It works. We've never 
um, you know, doing it that way, we we keep stuff in check, and we, we've really never had much of a problem. So that is it for tonight.